Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, so in terms of love relationships, I feel like uh, for many of you, um, it seems like you have already wrapped up some things um, of relationship or have decided and made a conscious decision to kind of uh, move on with your life and leaving somebody behind. And I feel as if there's still some type of strife between you and that person and there's still some necessary um, communication. So um, responsibilities, uh, communication, joint assets that you might own with each other that you're trying to divvy up, as well as, you know, um, children that could also be in the picture. But what I have here is the death card and the death card deals with, you know, uh, turning over a new leaf trying to leave the past behind um allowing new things to come into your life so I, I feel like you know this is a major conscious decision that you're making from your end to kind of move away to kind of um wean yourself away from possibly conflictual relationships or relationships that have already passed its expiration date but there are still some lingering things that you need to take care of between you and that past partner um, for many of you, you're trying to really move on emotionally, physically, and also financially. We have the world coming in where you're just like, I'm done with it. I, it's, it's, you know, the, the cycle has run its course. I need to wrap things up. I need to really actively move on with my life. And with the death card and the world, I feel like a lot of new opportunities are coming in for you. New dating opportunities, new opportunities for you to meet people, as well as a lot of communication coming through from other people here with the Eight of Wands. So I feel for those of you dealing with exes, there's still communication coming through from exes. And I feel as if they're trying to revive things with you and the communication, it can be very cryptic in a way where, you know, uh, they don't, they, they kind of beat around the bush and they are trying to gauge to see if you're still emotionally thinking about them or they're trying to test the waters with you or they're trying to throw a lot of information at you just to see where where you stand and i feel like you know you're holding back communication or you're taking your time trying to decipher their messages so in this deck the way that she is positioned it's almost like being inundated with too much communication being inundated with too many choices and having too much unwanted attention so for those who are single i feel like you know you've uh, left somebody behind there might have been like a major breaking away uh, of a significant relationship and you're operating at the space where you know the world is opening up for you you're attractive a lot of people are, you know, trying to get your attention. You're also very, very busy. You're moving around a lot. You're possibly traveling. And I feel like you're collecting really, really good um, energies. And all around you, there are people that are shooting you messages. But I feel like for those who are single, these are like... Um, it's like unwanted attention. It's too much too soon. So some of you, you're newly single and you're not ready yet to venture out into the dating world. And of course, you know, when we're not looking, that's when uh, it strikes, right? So I feel like you are you have too many things going on in your life where love is not really a priority or you're looking for Mr. Right or Mrs. Right and you're not just looking for fun and short-term flings and, you know, relationships that... Um, that don't really jive well with where you're at right now with the world. And so you're kind of keeping communication at bay. A lot of you can be still dealing with an ex. And as a result of that, I feel like there's still, you know, things to sort out, financial entanglements, children, bustling children back and forth, as well as court legal cases, I'm sensing, where the energy comes in as like, you know, very quick communication that might not be warranted or it might not be welcomed from your end. So I feel like you're inundated with a lot of stuff, okay, from, from exes. There is going to be a major severance. So if for, for those of you who have, it's sort of like, should I go back to my ex? Are they going to communicate? I feel like there's going to be some major communication. So you're getting the messages. 
And I feel like with this card, it deals more with heavy truths. Okay, in this deck, it's coming out to be very positive. It's something that you know, if we are not able to make up their, our minds, this comes in with some type of a、uh, news, communication, insight, snippets of.、Uh, Insight into the other person, so that we can finally be very, very decisive about what we want to do, as well as whether or not that person is the right one for us. There is also going to be a situation where, if you are, you know,、um, newly separated. And you're trying to decide: Should I go back, or should we divorce once and for all? I feel many of you are going to reach a state of.、Um, It's sort of like a state of letting go, finally not being bogged down with these decisions anymore. Because you're gonna get some insight, some some critical, vital information about the other person, and it's gonna allow you to move on. And I feel as well,、um, it's not because somebody else is coming in that you're moving away with. I feel like it has a lot more to do with the fact that you've come to terms with it because of this news, this new communication, this new information that's coming into the picture, and it's allowing you to sail away. It's allowing you to find safer passage. It's allowing you to kind of like, okay, I'm done. I'm moving on. I'm not looking back, and I can't really. Flip flop on this decision anymore. For those of you who are dealing with an air sign, you might be、um, meeting this person. Like you know, it's a new person that's coming into the picture that will kind of、uh, allow you to transition from a state of single, you know, a single person like a bachelor, bachelorette, moving into like, hey, let's test out this relationship and see where it goes. Because I feel like the person is very clear. And communicative, and they're very concise with you know, giving you accurate information, letting you know what they want, letting you know what their intentions are. So I feel like it might be a new person, an air sign coming into the picture. For others of you that are bogged down in relationships, I feel like you're freeing yourself, and、um, you're deciding to kind of leave the past in the past, wrap up. Whatever lingering attachments,、um, possibly separating yourself, getting a divorce, getting the divorce finalized, getting the the assets divvied up, and then you're home free. Okay, so I see there's a lot of、uh, homecoming with the six of swords, and either way, you're no longer troubled by these decisions because I feel like the decision is being made for you, or at least. The information that comes to light will allow you to make these decisions and to move on for good.、Um, I don't feel for single people; it's、um, it's like a, a new people coming in. But I feel like there could be somebody that's already, you know, that that's already giving communicating with you or giving you a lot of、uh, attention already. And I feel like you might decide to go off with that new person. And just to test the water, so it doesn't seem to me like you know, you're one hundred percent sure whether or not to go with it. But I feel like their energy is coming in quite fast, and they're shooting you a lot of text messages or emails or something like that. And so you're going to decide to take up on this offer and kind of、um, get your love life started all over again. In other areas of your life, what I do feel here is. It seems as if many of you are wanting to make a major change. You know,、um, should I look for work elsewhere? Should I get a dog? Should we have children? I see the energy of you and a partner, and the the partner is coming up here as the emperor. So this can be like a supervisor, a partner that you're、uh, living with or you're、um, you know dating. It could be somebody in your work environment as well, but the energy as the major arcana in this entire spread, it comes out as somebody that you're asking permission from. You're soliciting, and you're just like, "Come on, I want to do this. I want to do that. Can we go here? Can we do that?" And all of these things, it seems like you know, you're waiting for a new start. You're wanting to see what else is out there for me. When can I, you know, implement everything that I've learned and bring it out into the world? This is greatly about wanting to travel, wanting to do a getaway, wanting to retreat, and wanting to explore new horizons. And I feel like financially, some of you are saving up or are financially strapped, where you're just like, 
I really want to have some change, take that vacation, you know, move into a different house. You feel to me to be like feeling a little bit claustrophobic this uh, this、um, week, wanting to get away, feeling like your space it doesn't have everything that you that that it can offer you.、Um, and I often feel like this is a card about clumsiness. There might be elements or things around your environment that are knocking over things. So I see a lot of people with pets with this card, where they're you know knocking over things, or like the house situation is becoming a little bit cluttered. There isn't enough space. We might have new children being added into the household, and so you want to expand, you want to explore, you want to get a bigger house, get a bigger apartment, get a bigger car, like. You want something new, and you feel like the current situation is not. It, it, you're outgrowing it, and you're expanding. And with this world card, it's really,、um, and the energy is highly supported for. Let's break away. Let's try something new. And so, for those of you in relationships, and you're you know wanting to get a new house,、um, I feel like the person feels the same way, or the person is sort of like, if it's not broken, let's not fix it. If it's not, if we're not, you know, in dire strait, let's not move. They 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 don't really want to budge, and they they're very like status quo oriented.、Uh, they might be very risk adverse. They might be financially、um, not entirely stable just yet, or they feel. The two of you are not entirely stable just yet, so they don't feel as if it's the right time. Okay, but I feel like you're coming in, kind of nagging, kind of、um, attention seeking, and wanting to move things along, wanting to convince somebody to get on board. If you are trying to convince the emperor as the page energy, you need to use a lot more logic over. An emotional plea. So, if you're trying to get somebody on board with an idea, with a project. Um, you really need to appeal to this person's rational senses, okay? So let's just tell them, like, instead of saying, "Hey, let's get a bigger house," you can say, "You know, we have so much clutter here, so let's clean up the clutter because it's a fire hazard." Or you can tell this person, you know. Um, it's not good for us to have so much, so many animals in the house because it can breed like a lot of, you know,、uh, bacteria, for example.、Um, so let's move into, let's get a different car, let's move into a bigger house so that we, they have more space to roam, or we can keep them outside. Whatever it is, you have to appeal to this level more, this this person on more of that intellectual, rational level, rather than just. Making an emotional appeal, like "Oh, come on, I want this. You love me, so you should give me this." So, you are dealing with somebody who's very, very stubborn, and it seems like they're not really budging, and they're at a point where it's like, "It's not broken. Let's not fix it. Let's just, you know,、uh, plant our feet firmly on the ground." And I feel as if you want a vacation, you want them to travel with you. They're okay where they're at. They're secure. And I feel like you want more out of life. For others of you, you're planning some major things in your life. You know, saving up, buying a new property, wanting to、um, make some changes in your career as well. And I feel as if you're waiting on communication. You're waiting on, as well on,、um, you know, like if you've gone on an interview, you're waiting for feedback. You're waiting for some type of solicitation or some type of an invitation to either come interview or even、um, like an offer. So I feel many of you are at a point where you're contemplating it. You've been contemplating it for quite some time, possibly, you know.、Um, Like for the past two months, and you're happy where you are, but I feel that you know you're entertaining these other options just in case it comes in. And I, I feel like this is the the week where you're still waiting on that feedback. You're still waiting on opportunities. Okay, so I hope everything works out well for you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, and hopefully the reading is helpful and that it resonates. Um, thanks for watching, Pisces, and take care of yourself. Bye bye.